नेक्स्ट सेवेंथ वन फाइंड द पीरियड्स पीरियड्स फाइंड द पीरियड्स for the following following functions functions first one cos x to the power of 4 the period of this function we have to find out so what is the definition of the period suppose f of x is a function p is any integer p of x plus p is equal to f of x plus p is equal to f of x then this p is called period of this function the period must be the principal value in general actually the p of x plus p is equal to f of x then p is called period of the function the concept already we have studied earlier now let us consider f of x is equal to cos x to the power of 4 consider f of pi plus x in this case so here we get cos of pi plus x whole to the power of 4 the cos 180 plus theta cos pi plus x means cos 180 plus theta that is minus cos x because 180 plus x lies in the third quadrant in third quadrant except tan cot remaining ratios are negative so we get cos x so this is the minus cos x all to the power of 4 being a here positive being a actually here <coughs> even power the minus cos x to the power of 4 is cos x to the power of 4 nothing but f of x you see how does it appear f of p plus x is equal to f of x then p is called period so what is the p stands for here pi therefore period is equal to pi next let us move to the next problem second one two sin of pi x by 4 plus 3 cos of pi x by 3 period of this function let us find out so period of this function means first let us find out period of this sin of pi x by 4 and period of pi x by 3 separately find out suppose this period is p1 this period is p2 then lcm of p1 and p2 is gives us the period of this function so now let us say f of x is equal to 2 sin of pi x by 4 plus 3 cos of pi x by 3 this is cos now say p1 period of sin of pi x by 4 that is 2 pi divided by x coefficient is pi by 4 that comes up 8 pi by pi 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 gets cancel 8 the period of this term is 8 let us find out period of period of cos 
pi x by 3 this is also 2 pi by pi by 3 this is 6 pi by pi so pi pi gets cancelled we have 6 now what shall we do we have to find out lcm of 8 and 6 in order to get the period of the given function so now period of f of x period of f of x is equal to lcm of 8 and 6 you know how to find out lcm of 8 and 6 let us find out here see take 8 6 2 4 ja 2 3 ja again 2 2 ja 3 ja so 6 2 24 so this is equal to 24 so period of this function is 24 Now third problem sin square x plus 2 cos square x. So in this case also we have to find out the period of this function. See in order to find out period of this function how shall we do this problem? See unless we change sin square x and cos square x as a function of cos 2 x we cannot do it. But there is a one more option it is also there directly we can do it using the basic definition of the concept of the periodic function. But let us do like this let us suppose f of x is equal to sin square x plus 2 cos square x here also consider f of x plus or pi plus x here sin of pi plus x whole square plus 2 cos of pi plus x whole square. Here again the two questions will be arised. What is the value of sin 180 degrees plus theta? cos of 180 degrees plus theta both are negative since the 180 degrees plus theta lies in the third quadrant. So, this we can write minus sin x whole square plus 2 into minus cos x whole square again what do we get here sin square x plus 2 cos square x what does it mean? this is nothing but again function f of x. So, as for the definition of the periodic function this is in the form of f of p plus x is equal to f of x p is the period. So, what is the period here pi. So, period is equal to pi the period of this function is pi. Next let us go to the next problem. The next problem is fourth problem, fourth problem 2 sin of pi by 4 plus x and cos x, cos x. Okay. Let us say f of x is equal to 2 sin pi by 4 plus x into cos x. 
Now, first let us find out period of sin of pi by 4 plus 6, then cos x, get the LCM. So, first P1, say period of period of sin of pi by 4 plus x equal to 2 pi divided by x coefficient is 1, 2 pi only. P2, period of cos x is nothing but 2 pi. Now, the period of f of x is equal to LCM of 2 pi and 2 pi. So, LCM of two equal numbers is equal number, same number we will get it. The LCM of 2 pi and 2 pi is 2 pi. Therefore, the period of this function is 2 pi only.